Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Black Ops 6 almost a whole day early. As you may know, it releases in other parts of the world a bit earlier than it does here in the United States, but thankfully there are some ways to bypass that. So this is for Xbox and PS5. What you want to do is you want to start out by going to your Call of Duty.com. And once you're in Call of Duty.com and go ahead and sign into your Call of Duty account, you'll see over here it shows your Activision ID. Go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to go down to basic info. And then once you're in basic info, you're going to scroll down to where it says address. You want to edit your address and change your location to New Zealand. Now I put in a fake address, but you might be a bit more safe by going ahead and just looking up a random business or something in New Zealand and putting that address in. That way it detects a real address. But last year for MW3, putting in a fake address did work for me. I was able to play MW3 a day early. But anyway, once you go ahead and change your new address to New Zealand, just go ahead and click save and then that should be good to go. Now, if you're on PS5, that is pretty much all you have to do. You don't have to change your PS5 location to New Zealand. Now on Xbox, this should be all you have to do, but there is an off chance that you might have to change your Xbox location to New Zealand also. So now we are over in our Xbox Series X and what you wanna do is go over to settings. Then you wanna go down to system, go down to language and location, and then all you need to do is go down and change your location to New Zealand. And then once you do that, you'll just restart your Xbox and then you should be good to go. Now, unfortunately for PC, there isn't really a workaround for the New Zealand playing the game a day early. If you are on PC, you might be able to session join someone that is playing on console if they're playing it a day early. Um, there were some workarounds for it last year with MW3. Like if you joined someone inside the firing range and then they left the party and you left the firing range, it would put you in MW3 or something like that. I don't know if that's going to work for Black Ops 6 this year, but there were some weird glitch workarounds last year for PC. But if all else fails, just try to join someone's session that is on console. But if you are on console, this should work for you. Anyway, I hope this was easy to understand. Hope I can see all you guys a day early tomorrow at 7 a.m. Eastern time on Black Ops 6 when it releases in New Zealand. I hope you guys all have a blessed day and I'll catch you guys in the next one.